Hey there guys, what's going on? I um, wanted to throw together a really quick video. This is really more for evidence for my own purposes, uh, but figured I might go ahead and throw this up on Amazon, possibly on YouTube, uh, reviewing a product that I just recently purchased. Let me make a little adjustment here real quick. There we go, all right, good deal. Um, I just recently purchased, uh, among some other things, a rifle sling um, in the process of building uh, or assembling a, a, a new deer rifle and when just going through looking for very, very inexpensive, lightweight, minimalist parts uh, for this new deer rifle and looking for slings. I found one that kind of fit the bill. Um, unfortunately, it was of a design that I wasn't really too cracked up on. I really wanted just a straight up one and a half inch wide leather strap. Uh, no ornate designs on it, no Cobra style where it gets wider and has kind of a you know nice wide strap on it. I just wanted a really, really basic, simple one. And I found one on Amazon. You can look it up. Uh, it is an Allen, uh, what is it called? Allen Slide and Lock Sling. Okay, so there is the packaging. I've already removed it from the packaging, held in place just a couple of uh, twist ties, held, holding that in place. There's a very good reason why I'm doing this video. I have some very serious concerns about this sling and just taking it out of the packaging. Um, so as you can see here, it is labeled as a slide and lock sling, front and back. That's important. Um, bear with me on that. Um, and here is the sling itself. Okay. Brown leather. Okay. Black hardware. The buckles are actually, the swivels are actually really nice. I do like the swivels, nice thumb screw adjustment here. Um, roll that adjustment knob out, press and open. And just a little bit more, there we go. Press and open and bam, you're open just like that. Um, and then just screw it back into place. Very good swivels in my opinion. And we've got a nice, uh, looks like a pretty thick black enamel paint on it. The paint is actually in good quality and that goes for the buckle as well as the swivels both ends. No paint chipping off or missing. It seems like it's actually a pretty decent metal as well. Uh, but my biggest concern about this is the attachment points. The attachment points are um, strips of leather. Thin or one, one single strip of leather. Seems like it's very thin and you can see there, yeah, there we go. Uh, it's held together just with that tiny little strip. That's what holds the loop in place here where the swivel is. And there's another one of these loops and I've already partially taken this apart and I'm gonna explain that in just a second as well, but it's the exact same loop design that you'll see on both of these. Okay, here's the problem. Um, this is supposed to be part of the adjustment feature. This loop, which is the loose end of the sling, okay, I have a very sneaking suspicion that it is supposed to be attached to that part of the buckle. And as you can see, it is not. This is the way I pulled it out of the packaging. This is problematic. Um, here's the other problem, uh, an, another problem that I've got. Uh, you've got a series of instructions on the back of the packaging here. The top portion of that uh, details how to install the swivels onto um, the attachment points on your rifle. Uh, this is very well detailed, uh, explains exactly how these work, and it is correct. The other problem, the, the main problem here is with the lower portion of this, and I will see if we can, this is how to install the sling. Um, how to install, yeah, it's sling and sl sling installation instructions, sorry. Um, and here's your big problem right here. It specifically says to use Chicago screws. It also says for adjustment here to use Chicago screws and multiple holes adjustable. Uh, it indicates that there are holes pre-drilled into the leather and that you're to use Chicago, one Chicago screw here to attach uh, into those adjustment holes, which I believe it says there are every, um, it actually does not say what the spacing is, but they're located eight inches to 15 inches from the end. Um, yeah, 
Well, here's the problem with that. This doesn't come with any Chicago screws. There are none included with this. And in fact, there are no adjustment holes anywhere in this entire sling. There are no holes. They clearly show the adjustment point for the the uh, for one of the swivels, which is this guy right here. They're saying that this should be attached with a Chicago screw. There's no Chicago screws, and there's three freaking holes in that. There's no way to put Chicago screws into this. Okay. Furthermore, you know, in in stark contrast to what they have here, there is no there's no adjustment holes in this whatsoever so uh so obviously i've got some problems with this so what i'm going to be doing is and, and as i said i think that this sling works but i think it's not assembled i don't think it's assembled correctly and i think this is going to be the part that's going to really screw me on this um this part right here is going to have to be completely taken apart uh loop through you can get a little bit of space in this buckle by by looping it this way but there is just not enough space in here to shove that loop through and and loop it around you, you just you, you can't do it there's not enough space for it so the only thing that I can figure is that this loop was supposed to be attached and you've got this little double bar feature here in that buckle it seems to me like this is actually supposed to be attached right there uh, and it clearly isn't so um, I'm gonna try and take this thing apart and see what we can do. I'm using just the um, this is this is a pipe smokers tool. It's got a long pick on the end of it. It's a little sharp, but it's actually it's it's uh, smooth edged all the way around. And at least that will kind of help cut down on the chances of accidentally tearing this little loop. You can see I've already pulled one of the pieces of leather out of there. Um, you know, and part of this is I'm just gonna go ahead and, and try pulling some of this apart while I'm uh, while I'm talking. I, I part of this is kind of my fault. I did not read all of the available um, reviews on this product, and now that I have gone back and read them, I feel like I probably would have made another choice. Okay, so both of those go back through here, then come down and loop. I'm trying to remember how. I'm taking this thing apart um, might help putting it back together uh, make that go a bit easier this might not be as bad as I think it is but it's really it's really shitty that I'm having to do this much work um, just to get this thing assembled uh, you know not fixed not assembled correctly assembled period this thing clearly came out of the factory not assembled so kind of sucks that I'm having to do all this. All right, so I've actually got that kind of undone. You can see very clearly there are three blatant holes in there. You're not gonna, I mean, unless you find three matching Chicago screws that you could put in that. That's a thought. I might, uh, you know, if, if I don't, if I don't trust. I mean, you're talking very, very thin piece. This is about an eighth of an inch. It is really, really thin. Um, you know, and. It's not well finished on the other side. I'm sorry for the shitty camera quality. It's front facing and I'm just, I'm not getting the image that I want. It's also like one o'clock in the morning. So, um, so we're just going to go ahead and pull these out of here. But it's just, it really kind of sucks that I'm having to put this kind of effort into, into this thing. It should have come from the factory already assembled like this. All right, so if I understand this correctly, it should go up through here and come back down around here at least that's how I'm going to attach it let's pull this down and give ourselves a little bit of breathing room there we go that should come up and then it should leak back down okay so I have that back the way it needs to be Now we have to re-thread. This is the part that might suck. Uh, also, a lot of people pissed off that this thing uh, is made in China, quote unquote, and I believe, and I don't know if you can see it, yeah, India. Says made in India, so I don't necessarily know that this is actually manufactured in China. Uh, I don't know if it just means that the, you know, 
that the leather came from India or that the leather came from China by way of India. I don't, I don't freaking know. So, um, now this is not, it ain't like threading, it ain't like putting thread in a needle either. I mean, this is, I don't know how this would have been assembled by hand in the first place. I mean, somebody's got to have pretty nimble fingers to get this in here. I'm having trouble just getting one of them started back into the hole it literally just came out of. So, all right, so there's one. I think I can, I think I can remember how that thing was looped now. This might not be as bad. Uh, video is going to run long because I'm fighting with the damn thing, but I really want to do get this all on video just so if this thing craps out or just doesn't freaking work, I've got a full-blown video showing that I'm basically finishing up with the... Um, now, here's the thing. I've, pr I've purchased products from Allen before. I've purchased slings. I've purchased packs, uh, other assorted gear from um, the Allen company before. Uh, I've never had anything that I've had to literally take it apart. Uh, all right, so that's pretty damn near close. Okay, unfortunately, the it's still. I wonder if I can flip this inside out, make it a hey, looky. All right, so that might help make it a touch easier to work on this. Um, that yeah, there we go. That's gonna all right. So now I've got it kind of. You can see here, it's looped through, and I can definitely tell the smooth side of of the leather is is uh, slipping pretty nicely on the suede. Um, if it was the other way around, it, it definitely wouldn't work as easy. But uh, all right, so now we got a thread. And like I said, I had I had a hard enough time just getting one of these things to go through one hole now it seems like I've actually got to get it to go through two or maybe I just need to do one at a time that might help as well damn this is a real pain in the ass um, if this craps out I may try and see if uh, I might take this down I need to go to the local gun shop anyways and see if they'll do some some work on the rifle that I'm working on I just really need them to uh, I need them to remove an extraneous piece and I also need for them to see if they can polish uh, the bolt for me as well um, you know, I'd like the bolt to be nice and shiny this is definitely this this is going to be more trouble than it's worth. I, I can pretty much already tell that. This is the part that I'm really concerned about is trying to get this second piece of leather to move down in here. I'm pushing this with a relatively pointy tool and I don't really want to be doing that, but it's about the only way that I can get that to thread through there. Damn it. Okay, getting there. Now I'm starting to get, I got that V pattern back in there now. Now I've got to work this down through. <clears throat> back hole here. Um. If, even if I get this to work, and even if I use this sling for years and years and years, I will be putting a really negative review of this product on, uh, on Amazon at the very least. I may contact the company directly, um, which is not something that I typically do unless I'm thoroughly dissatisfied with a product. I'm not dissatisfied with the product as of yet. I'm dissatisfied with the amount of work that I'm having to put into the damn product just so that I can use it. So, all right, so I'm back through on one side. This is the part that's really gonna suck. Um, okay. 
Okay. So now we've got to come back up through these openings and make that sort of weird uh, stitched loop that we saw on the uh, on the original on um, this little loop design here. It's, and again, and now I'm I'm pushing back through. Uh, I'm pushing back through two holes and trying to get this just threaded through there. Well, the good news is I'm using, as I said, a not a sharp tool by any means. I mean, it comes to a, a tiny little point. It, you know, I could stab myself with it if I really wanted to, but as you can see, it's not. You know, it's not a nail or anything like that, but uh, it's... God, this is going to be a real pain in the ass. This is already being a real pain in the ass, that's for certain. And I'm not even... Ah, damn, damn thing's not even threading through there, really. I can get, like, part of it goes through. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Get, we're getting somewhere now. I think uh, anybody else at this point would have just said, fuck it. And they would have uh, they would have returned the product, left a a bad review. I am trying to make it work. I'm I'm you know, I do like the way all right, we got one through. I do like the way the sling looks, and I have a feeling that once I get this thing put together, I will like the way the sling functions. Uh, but until I actually get that far with it, I have no idea what I'm actually dealing with. So, I think I can be a little bit tougher on this leather than I originally suspected. I think I can kind of shove that through there. Um, yeah, I did. I just have to be careful that I don't damage it. Okay, I'm through on that side, and so far so good. The leathers, this leather is actually fairly strong. That tiny little thin strip of leather is much stronger than I initially gave it credit for. So, all right, somehow my loop came undone there all right so now I'm back to uh, the front and just have to figure out how to lock these in if I remember correctly that one went across there and that one went across there so let's go ahead and put it might not work if you buy this sling beware you're gonna be in for a lot of work initially and when you get done with the damn thing who knows maybe you have something really really nice you know maybe not um, actually that went together fairly easy and if I can lift that and put this through and I realize I've been focusing so much on this I probably have not given a very good detail of the work that I'm doing here but I think I actually got that uh, right back to the way it was, give or take. It's a hell of a lot uglier now than than this. I mean, put those side by side and compare. But I think that ought to about do it. You know, I don't have the utmost faith that that's going to uh, hold up very well or very long. So that's kind of disconcerting, but. Hold that about as tight as I can and there we have it all right so I get the feeling this is what the sling is actually supposed to look like here try and get this loop lined up there we go and then I think we just pull this loop up against the swivel now we have a sling 
now we actually have something I think this is what the product is actually supposed to look like uh, from the manufacturer I have a feeling that uh, that part just simply was not assembled correctly um, it does appear as though that is made to go right inside that loop there's a, a runner loop back there but um, it looks like that's yeah just like this loosen this up straighten that out let's see put a lot of space in here hold on like that like that so now we got a nice long that's fairly long right there and then I guess we just shorten this up and pull that back use that loop and now we're short much shorter okay so I think I actually temporarily just saved myself a return um, for an Amazon product which is really good because I'm already returning another Amazon product but that's something entirely different um, okay so and just in working this a bit there's already some wrinkling going on in that leather okay so I don't know if that's gonna wear nicely or if it's just gonna start to crack and split um, I'm gonna use this I guess until I determine that it's worthwhile and I'm gonna keep it or that it breaks and I drop my rifle that I'm in the process of building for anyone interested I'm actually mod modifying um, an old Indian manufactured Lee Enfield rifle it's called an Ishapur um, there are some very old videos here on uh, YouTube of me shooting that rifle shortly after I acquired it uh, I'm in the process of dropping it into a new Boyd's laminate hardwood stock I'm dropping it uh, obviously I'm putting a new sling on it thank God for that um, uh, putting a new scope on it as well the scope and the rings that came on it were um, were good when I first got it but a couple of rounds through it and it really jacked up the the rings and the mounts and everything so new scope new stock uh, new paint job I'm gonna sand it all nice and smooth and just hit it with Krylon because let's face it it's a hundred and twenty five dollar rifle and I'm not putting Cerakote on that so uh, hopefully this 22 minute video was worth it um, if not I'll have to use it uh, as evidence when I return this product to Amazon so guys if you are looking for a cheap uh, sling um, right now man avoid this because that was a hell of a lot of work it was 20 minutes of work 20 minutes of work am I gonna get 20 years out of it I doubt it I'll be lucky if I get two shooting sessions out of the damn thing because at this point that's about how I feel about it uh, but you can obviously tell it was not it you know they've got instructions for the wrong product here and the product came uh, unassembled so yeah you want to put 25 minutes worth of work into fixing something knock yourselves out uh, I personally will not buy this sling again uh, for another rifle but hopefully it will hold up well um, Stay tuned because I might have some videos coming up about that rifle I'm putting together. Stock's on its way from Boyd's. Just got a notification about that today. Uh, coming out of their shop in South Dakota. Should be here uh, in about three, maybe four days tops. So thanks a lot. Sorry this took so long. Enjoy.